Hello, hello, hello. Today is Sunday, July 23, 2023. Solutions to problem 176. Let's quickly throw, go through this problem. It's not a physics problem, it is really a math problem. We reflect unpolarized light off a plate of glass. We know the indices of refraction. You can use Snell's law, even without understanding Snell's law. In case of an incident unpolarized light beam, we must decompose the associated electric field into two components, a parallel component and a perpendicular component to the incidence plane. I gave you those two Fresnel equations. I derived them in lecture 18 of 803. In this problem, you don't have to derive them. You don't even have to understand them. You can just use them as math. This is really a math problem. However, I want you to watch lecture 18 because it's one of my very best lectures. It has mind-boggling demonstrations. Really watch it. However, you don't have to watch it to understand how I derive these two Fresnel equations. These two Fresnel equations you can use in this problem as math. Theta 1 is the angle of incident, which is the angle between the direction of the incoming light and the normal to the glass plate. Okay, now there's one question. Is it possible somehow that there is an angle theta 1 such that there is no parallel reflection? Read the blue. If R parallel can be zero, that means that then the E field of all the reflected light is perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Thus it is 100% linearly polarized. Because all that radiation is perpendicular to the plane of incidence. That means it's all in the same direction. And if you can find such an angle, that light is 100% linearly polarized. So, when is R parallel zero? It's very easy. R parallel is zero if this is infinity. Therefore, if theta 1 plus theta 2 is 90 degrees. Tangent of theta 1 plus theta 2 is infinity. Theta 1 plus theta 2 is 90 degrees. Theta 2 is therefore 90 minus theta 1. You now use Snell's law. And you do a little bit of high school math. And you find immediately that sine theta 1 is 1 and a half times the cosine of theta 1. In other words, the tangent of theta 1 is 1 and a half and the angle theta 1 for which that happens is 56.3 degrees. And that is called the Brewster angle. So when you reflect unpolarized light of glass at an angle of incidence of roughly 56.3 degrees, the reflected light is 100% linearly polarized in the direction perpendicular to the plane of incidence. Look at this picture, you see here R parallel, and you see R perpendicular as a function of angle. So when you look here, then R parallel is zero. And so if you go down now, R, R parallel is zero to the angle, that's where the 53.6 degrees is. Some of you think that theta 1 0 and thus theta 2 is also 0 is a solution that is not true. Look at this picture. You will see that at theta equals 0 
that neither our parallel nor our perpendicular is zero. Can you derive our parallel and our perpendicular at theta zero for my Fresnel equations? The answer is no. And why can you not do that? Because this would be the tangent of zero. This would be the tangent of zero. Zero divided by zero is not defined. The sine of theta, one would be zero. Theta one minus theta two would be zero. Theta one plus theta two is zero. This is zero divided by zero. So these two Fresnel equations will not give you the answer what our parallel and our P is for theta one and theta two is zero. However, I do derive that in my lecture 18. In my lecture 18, I show you that if theta 1 is 0, then obviously theta 2 is also 0, that then the reflectivity is n2 minus n1 divided by n2 plus n1, which is 0 0.04, which is 4%. That means 96% of the light goes into the glass and 4% is reflected off the surface as the light enters the glass. But when you have a glass lens that happens both when it enters and it happens when it leaves the, the lens. In other words, all astronomers know that if you have glass lenses for your telescope, you lose 8%. Watch lecture 18 and you will see how this 4% appears using Fresnel's equations, by the way. Let's now go back to our situation. Theta 1 plus theta 2 is 90%, 90 degrees. Therefore, theta 2 is 30.7 degrees. The minus sign indicates that the E fields of the light that reflects back into the air flips 180 degrees. Thus, it remains linearly polarized perpendicular to the plane of incidence. That's obvious if you flip it 180 degrees. I of P, the intensity, of that reflected light perpendicular to the plane of incidence is 14% because it is the square of this number. So 14% of the incident unpolarized light intensity reflects and it is 100% linearly polarized and 86% of the incident unpolarized light intensity goes into the glass. That light is not linearly polarized. I will do a demonstration at home in which I will make linearly polarized light by reflecting unpolarized light off glass. Of course, I also do that in my lectures. You can do that too at home and impress your girlfriend or boyfriend. I will post that video Two days from now, it will be called 176 demo. This was a math problem. It was not a physics problem. In this math problem, you could use Snell's law and the Fresnel equations that I gave you. There are only five people who have the correct answers. That is very, very disappointing for me, but so it goes.